Glass is one of the most practical materials in architecture, and we all use it in our projects. Also, frosted glass is used in many spaces, such as bathrooms and office spaces. These glasses can be made simply and also with different patterns. Due to the practicality of this material, we should be familiar with its types. In this tutorial, we will work with different types of this material so that you don't have any problems with making them. We will continue from making ordinary glass to making frosted glass with patterns and colored and gradient frosted glass. Before starting the training, if you like to produce a video of this material and a plant that sticks to the glass without going through it, comment the word glass. Hello, welcome to MemeViz. We will start this tutorial with the bathroom interior workshop, where you can see the full video of lighting and making its materials through the above link. Here we have a bathroom, the two spaces of which are separated by a glass, and today's materials will also be used on this glass. First, we create a Corona physical material in the material editor and select glass from the available presets. Then, we assign it to the separator of two spaces. In order to see the edges of the black glass, we select black color in the media option tab and increase the distance number to have the black color at a suitable depth of the glass. The number 30 is suitable. Well, it was a simple, but today's tutorial is about frosted glass. First, we want the whole object to be frosted. For this, we first take a copy of the previous material and use the prepared preset again. Select the glass frosted option and assign it to the object. Now we could easily have it in the whole object. To make the glass more transparent and frosted, we should also play with the roughness number. The lower the number, the more transparent the glass, and the higher the number, the more matte. You can see the glass with different roughness on the screen. In the next section, we want to make part of the glass opaque. For example, in this part, let's make a long strip along with several strips above it matte. In the past techniques, we had to define a mask for the material in the opacity section, and naturally, to move the lines and different sections, we changed the map mask, which required drawing in Photoshop. But with the help of Corona Decal, we can easily create and edit them. Let's get started. To start, in the menu Create and Corona, draw a Corona decal on the glass with the help of Auto Grid and adjust its dimensions. We go to the top view and move it. We also reduce its depth. Then we place it in the space where the glass is located. When covering the entire glass, the decal is created on both sides of the glass. For now, we will continue with this mode to check the other mode later. In order for the decal to be applied only to the glass, we need to add the glass to the Include section. In this way, the decal does not affect any other object. Now, it is enough to modify its dimensions and place it in the right place. We assign the glass material to the original glass and the matte material to the decal.
By taking the rendering, you can see that we were able to create it quickly. You can take several copies of it and put them together in different sizes and get different results by changing the roughness number. With the help of this method, the speed of doing the work is very high. Another of the most popular frosted glasses are gradients. To make it, we go to the material editor very quickly and take a copy of the previous material and then create a gradient ramp map. Using this map makes it much easier for us, as you will find out later. With the help of these three parts, the gradient can be controlled. By clicking in the empty space of the table, you can create more control options. We erase the excess decal and attribute the material to the decal and connect the gradient ramp to the opacity and also fix its size with glass in the isolated space. If we take the test, we see that we don't have the right direction and we have to rotate the map. In this case, we have a very wide gradient if we want the gradient to be much more limited, that is, make the middle part smaller. So, we add another option. You can control its color by double-clicking on it. That we should choose white and black to create a limited range for the gradient. By moving them, we will get the desired result. You can see that we made it more limited and also moved it. This can be done in different ways. Suppose I set this to 0 0.5. Then he created different modes by adding levers and changing colors. Originally, he created a white and black gradient in a variety of ways. Your creativity will make you produce attractive glasses. It is clear that the white parts are opaque and the black parts are transparent. I will return the gradient to the previous state so that we can continue working. Now, you can easily add any logo and text to the glass by adding different decals and masks. Of course, there are some small points that we will address. First, I will modify the gradient a little. In the material editor, we create a corona bitmap and enter the desired text into it. we get a copy of the previous material. We copy the decal and assign the material to it and add the mask.
In isolated mode, we modify its size with the help of fit bitmap and adjust its position. Of course, it is shiny and we have to invert it with the help of a corona color correct so that the text on the glass becomes matte. We also increase its contrast to increase the difference between white and black. By taking the rendering, you can see that there are several problems. In order for our image not to be created on both sides, we must place the decal on one side of the glass. Basically, it should be on everyone. In order to be seen better, it is better to make the previous material more transparent and also move the gradient. We will also increase the matte percentage of the new decal. I think the gradient needs to be moved again. For me, color is always a space saver, and frosted glass is no exception. But there is a problem for which we definitely have a solution. Unfortunately, Corona Decal cannot detect the color in volumetric scattering, and no matter how much we play with its color and intensity, it is useless and the black color is not added to our glass. To solve this problem, we have to use color in refraction which naturally we have to use Corona Legacy material for this. So we create the material and make a glass and assign the previous mask to opacity. We also specify the degree of opacity. Now we have to apply the decal to it and make it a little more matte. By adding color in refraction, you can create colored frosted glass. Be careful to try to use a color with low saturation. We also create this with a darker color for the text to make it more readable. In this way, you can create any color and style in frosted glass. We play with it to get the desired result. We come to the pattern section for glass. I can safely say that you can create it and it is very simple for you. 
Just give the opacity any pattern you want. We leave the previous decal aside and take a copy of the previous materials and sign it to the decal. Now we select the map and adjust the size and proportion of the map. We raise the tilling a little so that it becomes finer. Be careful that the decal must cover one side of the glass. I do this in top. We remove invert to see the result. This can be done with all kinds of patterns and combining them together. In another case, you can combine the pattern with the color in the material in the previous technique and get more attractive results. We replace a new map and adjust its fit. We also modify the tile. We use another legacy material and connect the new map to it and add the color in refraction so easily. This is also from today's tutorial. You have seen that with the help of decal, you can combine different types of glass and frosted glass and get attractive results. Your creativity and ability will create attractive results. Thank you for liking and subscribing and commenting your suggestions. Thank you for your support. Until the next video. Bye.